So now the idea, so here, so my name is Alexander Fellner. So I'm a team leader and senior business advisor. So uh, as team leader, I just have a few, uh, I have a few people that I manage in, uh, in sales, okay? So the <coughs> talk of today will be how to challenge a customer, okay? Changing your customers depend on, uh, you will change your customers on the needs, you will change your customer on, uh, depending on the, on the size of the company. So the first thing that you need to know is like to who you're talking to, okay? So if you take Odoo, for example, uh, today is, that we target a small and medium company. Why is it important? Because it depends, you're, you're challenging the way you're going to change your customers and the enterprise will depend on the size of your company. Okay, so here we can add a room. We target the company from one to 250 employees. Okay, from all, all, from all over the world. The way you are going to change your customer also depends on the culture of the person. Okay, the way and then on the sector and the industry. Okay, changing the, ch changing the flows, changing the way they work, challenging, challenging every flows and business process of the company. So, really important to know the industry and the sector that you're going to talk to. Okay. And last for that one, it's like for the simplest from the most complex because the way you're going to change a simple company is going to different the way you're going to change a complex company. Okay? First thing, first of everything you have to do when you have a client or when you need to talk to any customers and to is the qualification of a customer. Okay. The qualifying qualification of a customer is going to let you know what the customer wants, where he wanna go, okay, and how you're going to Get him, the, get him where you want to go. Okay, so what you need to focus, okay, today is you know for Odoo, you need to keep it, you know, you need to keep it standard. Okay, so you always need to know where you want to focus when you ask a question and when you change a customer. Okay, so again, when you go to the to the methodology of Odoo and the way we work at Odoo, we want to keep the session as standard as possible. Okay, so you will challenge, and I will repeat myself about changing the different workflow and the different where they want to work. You're going, to, you're going to change the development. You're going to change the processes, okay? The, the client will say, okay, I want that. And then you say, why you want it, okay? They want, you want to change also the way, uh, the timing, okay? The timing, the agenda, okay? The idea is like, we want to make it as fast as possible, okay? So we need to change the structure inside the company too, because you can, you, you're not the only one that makes the process and that makes the project going fast. Okay, keeping the implement implementation affordable, again, challenging like the priorities, okay. Then, how to qualify them, okay. Then, I was saying, project knowledge, okay. So, depending on like this, again, the size of the company, the knowledge of the project, you know, will, will depend, uh, again, on where they are during the company. So, you need to know where they are with the project knowledge, okay. Challenging the project knowledge, the business process, Okay, to un you need to change them for you to understand where they want to go, and then also you need to change them also just to prioritize and uh, to um, to be sure that that in Odoo, for example, that you, you know for the development, for example, or to keep it keep it standard, or just to find like a workaround in the solution. Okay, the business methodology, as I suppose you went to different talk about methodology. I don't know who wants to the method to quick start to point out. Then business methodology is really important that because that's how you're going to make the pro the, the project a success too. Okay, you cannot let the customer you know, lead the project and lead the methodology. Okay, and then you need to change the budget and the timing. Okay, you need to know you need to know what they have a they have a budget. They know where they want to go. You need to change it. Why? Because. With the budget, maybe you do, you won't be able to do what they want, what they want with the budget. So you need to change what they want and the budget. Okay. Then in Odoo, we have like so you have four type of different customers, one flexible methodology. Okay. So you have the client, the independent client. Okay. When we when we go in the methodology, we talk about quick start Q and A. Okay. And I tell you, I will explain you what is the, how you change those type of customer. Then you have the client which is extremely independent, dependent, okay? What we call a quick start all in, okay? And then we have the company success, are the company process, sorry, are rigid. And we're talking about like a quick start tailored, okay, methodology again. And we have the customer launching his business, quick start strategy, okay? What do you mean, dependent? Uh, independent? When, so what I, what I, 
but when dependent independent independent is someone who doesn't need any help okay so he will be the project manager he will be uh, the one who's going to int integrate the solution the one who's dependent is the client who will be dependent of you okay so you need to change for example the way you're going to change that one and the way you're going to change will be way completely different because the need is different okay and that's why you need to change the needs and you need to qualify your projects um, as good as possible okay take the picture up oh, the other way so change the methodology okay how you change the methodology again in every process, in every step, you need to know where you want to go. Okay, so first thing of all is like how you want to reach the goal. Okay, here for example, on metric, you want a single point of contact. Okay, you want an interactive delivery approach. You want a standard solution rather than a development solution. Why? Why standard? Because it makes it, if you go to development, budget the problem with the budget. Okay, the, and also the fact that it will be slower with the projects, and then. Um, and then you make the, uh, the, the search more complex to use. Then we have the 80-20 rules, okay? 80 standards, 20% development. And then we have a uh, minimum level of product management. Okay, knowing that, okay, just a bit of theory here. Single point of contact, what we talk about is like one person gathering, one, like gathering the business needs, okay? We have one decision maker for one client site, Okay, why? It's just because when you have the per the, the spark is the uh, sorry when you when you have the, the person of contact is the decision maker. Everything goes faster. We need when you make when you need like to change. So we have a change request during the so during the project. Okay, so and the train the trainer. Then you have iterative delivery approach. A clear initial scope. Okay, really impo really important to change the scope in the process because you need when you start from the from the start of it, you need to understand and you know you need to know what process they're going to, what is the scope of the solution, because you don't you don't want them to change in the middle of a project, because if you change in the middle of a project, the budget goes way high and then the project go uh, way longer. Okay, face the project. Okay, challenge the priorities. And then use the standard first, change the development and the process. Standard solution rather than development. Simpler business, simplify the business process, and that's why you're going to change them like from the top to bottom, every flows of the company, every key users of the company. Okay. Then you're going to change like the workaround. So you're going to say, okay, we you want that development, but why are you thinking about that? Why you want that development? Why why can we not do that way okay so change every development everything they want to do in the company develop the, the and if necessary at one point then if you change correctly you will know like that this is a development that we need to do because there's a good reason for it okay the 80 20 rules complete doesn't make complete doesn't make complex the project you said is the priority and then the data migration the never-ending data bit then, so going back, if I can just go back to what I was saying. Sorry, I just wanted just to go. So we have the idea is like every type of every client, okay, had, you will change them differently. Why? Because the person you have in front of you, the company you have in front of you, has different people, different structures, okay, and they have a different st state of mind, okay. So what I will do is like I will just sorry, I will just, I will just go through like every four type of company that we have, that we have here at Odoo, and I will, I will tell you what is the challenge and the way you have to challenge them, uh, depending on the person you have in front of you. So, for the Q&A, I'll try quick start. Okay, you have a change the timing, his agenda, okay, change his knowledge, and then change his expectation, okay. The guy is independent, okay, so he wants to do everything by himself, okay. So the, when he will come to you, he will come like for a question. But the question is like he will come to you tomorrow. But he can he can ask call you like five times in five times in a row during one day. So you need to change his timing and his agenda, saying like, okay, you can ask me any question you want, but you need to do it like every Monday, or you have to do like every Tuesday, okay? Because he will the guy will take like as he will take like all your time, and you won't have the time to go deep in the projects, and then also the time for the rest of your customer. Change his knowledge. The guy wants to do everything by himself. Okay, so you need to change every time his knowledge on Odoo, okay? Because he will start, he will want, he will want like to go really, really far with Odoo, but you need to be sure that he know where he's going because the database needs, he needs to use his, his database. Like, and he, for, I mean, for, he, for his 
for his work. So you, you know, the database needs to work. Then change his expectation. Okay, the guy is, again is independent. He know where he wants to go. Okay, he has he has a goal, but maybe he wants to go there too fast. And so maybe the idea is change the expectation to say, okay, first step, second step, phasing the project. Okay, then we have uh, sorry, then we have the alter quick start. So the guy is dependent of you. Okay, so for that, why you we have to you what we have to do is like constantly change the business knowledge. Okay. Because he will always come back to you, he will need to you to get there. He will need for you, he will need to be for you to be there. Okay, change his distributing place for the project and then change the scope. Okay, then we have the the big company when you have a rigid structure in, like in the company and a rigid structure like rigid process, uh, rigid sorry processed. Then those guys, you need to change <coughs> the business process. Why? Because they have a way to work today and it's really hard for them to change the way they work. Okay? So you need to every point, every um, development they want, every uh, process and scope and uh, flow that they have in the company, you need to understand them, you need to change them, saying, okay, why are you doing that way? Okay? Can we not doing that, that in another, uh, another way? Okay? Going back, change the development that they want to put in place. Okay? We, here we are Odoo, Odoo propose, do, propose you to do a lot of work around, a lot of things in standards, but so why to go to development, okay? So every development that you, that for example, every aspect that you don't have in Odoo, just challenge it, say okay, we cannot do that way, but can we do it that way, okay? Why? First, we build all the projects longer, second you, have the, second you have the budget who goes higher when you have development, okay? And then you make it, you, again, you make the solution more complex, okay? Then change the agenda, like big company, uh, big process. Um, they don't have, they might not have the time for you, okay? And that's where the metric come in front. You want them, you know, to have time for you to test the solution with you, you know, to work with you, you know, for for you for them to be the, you know, train like the train the trainer. So for them to be able to get there and train the people inside the company. And then we have again change the expectation when you go to those kind of company they all want they want the moon okay and then you, so what you say you say okay why not first get the earth and then you get the moon okay then we have the ultra quick start then for that one you go oh no sorry there you go and then wait where is that pardon then we have the last one which is the, the new businesses okay the, the new businesses it's really nice because, like for example, no, no methodology in place. Okay, if you you can tailor pretty much everything with them because they have nothing in place yet. Okay, but why you really you need to change with them is the imagination. Okay, because they think that because they this they saw this they want to do everything with Odoo and they want to they want to do uh, they want to have like every module that you that they that they can have uh, for the for the business. So you really need to change the imagination that they have. And then from there, change the priorities for the project. Okay, priorities of project for for new businesses is really important because of the uh, because of the budget first. Okay, and because you, we want them to you know do step by step, and we don't want we don't want them to go too crazy with the imagination that they can do with Odoo. Okay, then we have again change the agenda. New businesses they have to see they have to see a thousand of people because it's the new businesses. So you need to have time and you need to make time with them, and they need to have time with you. Okay, and then change the business flow. Okay, they have an idea. They think that everything goes in Odoo. Okay, the idea is change the business flow for like the globality. The eighty twenty push, the eighty twenty the eighty twenty rules goes to Odoo. Okay, uh, then. After you need to change the customer thinking, okay. When you change the customer thinking, you need to understand that what the what the commerce the customer say in his it's like you want to first know the needs. Okay. <laughs> then, when you get the needs, you know for when you know the needs, you know you know how the, what the features they need, what the models they need, okay. And then you can you then can give them like a solution, okay. If the guy says like the customer sorry it said like I want this solution but even the, even doesn't know what he needs at the end so the guy is going to say like so I have that much money I want that solution but the solution might not even be tailored for the for the customer okay so this is really important because this is this is going to make the solution the, the project way faster and it will be a success afterwards okay then as a conclusion challenge every step of the way 
Okay, change every every aspect of the every aspect of the company. Change change every everything about your about your customers, about the the business they have, and where they want to go today, tomorrow, and the future. Okay, and thank you. <laughs> like so, now we have like about ten minutes for any question. Ten minutes for any question. If you have any questions. No questions? Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of uh, customers come to us and they, uh, like in your example, they say, I want a plane, it's the better seat, it's this, this, this. And what do you do then? Do you so, say, we well, first talk about the. the yeah, so, so what, I, what I do is like, so when I have a customer who says, like, I want everything, or like you said, I want the plane. That's so what I say, like, look, this is. So this is like what so I say like this is first you say okay why you want a plane okay maybe just can we take like five minutes or ten minutes just to understand what you need first and then maybe we could find some we can find like not a plane we can we can just create like a, we can just make a, make a, you make a car first and then could get the plane okay so it's really important like when your customers always think that. He has a solution and he knows what he want. Okay, at one point you, take, you need to take the lead, or you, pretty much you need to take the lead on your customer, like uh, again, like the changes every step of the way. So, the lead on the agenda, the lead, uh, uh, the lead on the qualification, the lead on what they're thinking and the methodology they're going to put in place. Okay, so it's always good to go back to it. So the guy, so your customer say, I want to play, and Mike, Mike says, I'm going to, why do you want to play? Okay, and then he says, the customer will say. I just want to play, okay? Or I don't know, and then you say, "Look, take five minutes with me. We go through your process, okay? And maybe I, I will be able to give you something that's even better than a play, okay?" Does that answer your question? Yeah, well, uh, sometimes customers that they really set on. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, no, I'm not saying it's easy. Huh? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying it's like uh, it's because, like I say, it really depends on the people you have in front of you, okay? At one point, you can, you can, if if the customer is super rigid, you say, okay, we can make a plane. But then, you can always work, you can always uh, talk about the budget. Okay, this is how much it will cost you, but I can make something, I can make something cheaper. Who will answer? Who will answer the need that you want? Okay, there's like there's different arguments, but you need at one point you need to go back to the needs. So you need to go back to what they, where they want to go and understand the flows and uh, and the flow and the business process that they have. Okay, maybe you will give them a plane afterwards, but you need to like never, never let the customer lead what the, leads your process. The idea is like that's why you need to change their process because that you can put your process in place for the project. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>